it's Wednesday, 23rd November 2016 at 11.13 a.m. It just turned 11.14 a.m. So, yes. <laughs> so, I was supposed to go to my job uh, agency appointment, but I rescheduled that to... Um, I actually wanted to reschedule it to Friday, but I had some... Uh, email back and forth with my employment consultant and uh, finally we showed you rescheduled it to Monday 28th November 2016 at 11 a.m. I also let him know in my email one of the reasons why I wanted I couldn't come in today because I was feeling very anxious I didn't get any sleep or very poor sleep and uh, I also told him about, you know, my life circumstances, and the fact that I have all these mental health problems and uh, lack of motivation, and uh, also mentioned the fact that I was trans. You know, I thought I'd let him know that, but I didn't make so, I didn't make a big deal out of it. I just mentioned it, um, you know, because I feel like. Uh, I think it's important. I mean, a lot of people want to erase trans people's identities. They want us to simply fit in to either a man or a woman. So people, I feel like people feel, get uncomfortable dealing with us. I wasn't trying to make any political statement or anything. Oh, I don't know, maybe I was. <laughs> maybe I was making a political statement. I exist, damn it. Yes, that's right. I exist. I am a trans woman. I am mentally ill. I have a very poor unemployment. Uh, I mean, I have a very poor employment history. I don't have any motivation. I don't know what I want to do with my life. Yes, I've gone to university. Yes, I've got these degrees and all of that stuff. But, um,. You know, I don't have a lot of, you know, I have problems with energy levels and anxiety. I have problems leaving the house. Like, I think one of the reasons I was so anxious is because I had to go to this appointment. I, every time when I have to go out the previous day, I just get so anxious, I can't go to sleep. So basically, I told him all of that. <laughs> so, and it's like, uh, why hide these things? I mean, I... I I also told him about the whole resume, like, you know, like how I got a call from someone last week telling me that they told me that, oh, my resume was like, if people, look, if, if employees look at my resume, they will be wondering, oh, they will be questioning my commitment to stay on for a long time because I don't have a, 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 a having the, my longest uh, work situation was like six months. I mean, that's the truth, you know, this is my circumstances, you know, like, okay, this is the truth, this is the reality, might as well deal with it, I don't want to, like, pretend, like, this is not what's happening, you know, no, I told him, like, I could potentially be, uh, I could be a homeless person, because, you know, I live with my mom and brother, and, uh, you know, I don't know what's going to happen in the future because my brother is going to live by himself. And yes, uh, he's he's my employment consultant. He should know this. This is my circumstances. They should know what my circumstances are, so they can help me. Now, if I don't tell them, if I just keep all of these things to myself, how can they help me? They don't know what my circumstances are. I don't want to make, I don't want to feel like I'm making excuses for my life, you know. I don't want to be like, oh look, just feel sorry for me, this is my life, uh, you know. I, I do feel like, I do feel like, I feel kind of dejected and demotivated. I feel kind of like, what's the point? What's the point of doing anything? I just feel so like, so tired and kind of down and like, I don't know. I feel I feel really negative, you know, like I don't want to hear positive things. I just because I just feel like that's just bullshit. I want I feel very negative. And, uh, 
I don't feel like pretending to be like I hate being around people. I, yeah, I also mentioned that I just find it very anxious to be around. I don't like being around people. Why do you think I'm in my room all day? Because I don't like being around people. I don't even like being around family members. I just don't like being around people. It's just very stressful for me. Uh, so, so I'll be going to my. I don't know what 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 they're gonna do. How they're gonna help me? I mean, uh, I have to help myself. I mean, but I don't even feel like helping myself. I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. But maybe if things get really hard, that might. If things get really uncomfortable, because right now I am comfortable, right? I look like I have food, I have shelter, I have this internet thing. But maybe if things get really uncomfortable, where these things are taken away from me, maybe I will get motivation to do something about it, or maybe I'll just be like, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. I don't care. I'm just so tired. I just can't be bothered. You know, I always thought I was going to become homeless. People were, and I, 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 I don't know, it could happen, but at the moment things are okay, but I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Mm. What's gonna happen? I feel I feel like uh, I'm so negative, and people don't want to hear my negativity. There's like they're like they always want to say something positive. You're not listening to me. You're not listening to me. I'm telling you how I'm feeling. You are invalidating my feelings. I don't want to hear this positive stuff. I know positive stuff. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to hear it. Not. I want to be heard. I want people to hear all my negative thoughts. I want people to hear them and say, yeah, I know how you feel. I don't want people to tell me something positive. It's like, but you're, you're not hearing me out. I know you don't want to hear this, but this is how I feel. I feel very negative. I feel very dejected and uh, depressed. And uh, I, I feel very whining and complaining and yeah. Yeah, my, my life isn't that bad. A lot of people have it worse than me, but this is how I feel, you know? This is how I feel. This is, I feel like shit. Or, you know, I feel kind of low, depressed, dejected. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I'm happy with my transition. I'm happy that my health is relatively good. You know, I'm, I'm happy that I got an education. I did that for myself. and. Uh, you know, there are things that I'm happy about myself, but it's still kind of, it's still kind of, uh, you know, it's still kind of hard. It's still kind of hard. Yeah. Uh, so there's my kind of update, and uh, I'll sign off for now. Yeah.